Hello, and welcome to this tutorial video on how to play my Wing Commander collectible car game mod for Tabletop Simulator. As you can see, when the game first loads, this is the screen you will be presented with. According to the rules, all teams begin with 30 power points to be doled out and updated as time goes on. You may use the plus and minus keys to raise or lower them respectively by one, or manually enter the number to change them. For now, some basic counters have been added for denoting metal points for cards. We'll get to metal points later on with the rules. But as far as you're concerned, these will be temporary until I can produce much more effective models. As you can see, the play field is depicted of five zones, complete with two home carrier zones. For your convenience, the two mandatory carrier cards have already been doled out and locked appropriately to the game board. What is locking? We'll get to that in a moment. Now, when you first load up the game, the cards in these zones are set in randomization zones. All you have to do is say yes, or no, if you wish. If you say yes, they will automatically shuffle. If not, they will come out into the world spawned as if they were loaded fresh from the cloud. Feel free to shuffle them as you wish with the R key. Before we can do anything, we need to get out of spectator mode. For Game Master's convenience, this is the mode that is spawned in at beginning. For convenience sake, we'll switch to the Game Master mode now by going up here, change color, and we'll select the black Game Master bubble. Now the navigation zones are denoted by waypoint cards that have been situated right here with their own custom background. There are 10 for a maximum of a four player game, but we are just two player for now. Four player will be in a future update. For now, take five cards, after shuffling them if you wish, and dole them out to the five card slots. For added convenience, once you've flipped the cards with the F key, you can press the L key again to lock them so they do not interfere with common play. For the remainder of the game, these cards will go unused. Feel free to delete them, remove them, or place them somewhere outside the world if you don't need them. Or you can leave them there as a border. For now, we'll remove them. You need to have both players deal themselves out their starter seven cards. Now, the players will have to do this themselves, of course, so we'll go ahead and switch to the different players for, since this is just me doing this. The blue being the Confederation. Now, as a shortcut to quickly draw a short amount of cards, under the amount of 10, you can press the D key and then quickly press a number to draw out a specific number of cards. So, D7. Notice how the cards have been splayed across here. They're now in two separate places, here on the table and here in your virtual hand. As a point of reference, I'd like to show you that in spectator mode, the cards appear hidden. This goes for your opponent as well. Once again, D7.
Use the WASD keys to slide and pan as you wish. And you can use the arrow keys to rotate the view. Scroll wheel to zoom. To grab a card and rotate it, simply click and hold, and then while holding them left click, use the scroll wheel. And now we'll return to spectator mode. Featured is a special play area reserved for combat or sorting your ready area as the rules apply. Remember, in Game Master mode, all cards can be seen, so there will be no secrets. Great for referees, bad for players and spectators. Use the link in the description to find more information, as well as a manual on play. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the games.